Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Wednesday, November 20th. You'll be interested to know, 27 years ago, today in 1997, American tobacco companies reached a significant agreement with the governments of 46 states, resolving the claims for reimbursement of Medicaid funds spent on treating smoking-related illnesses, with the settlement costing the tobacco manufacturers $206 billion, in addition to the $40 billion previously agreed upon. So now you know. And now, it's time for the weather report. This morning, it's sunny and feels like 28 degrees with 11 mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 417 and will rise again tomorrow at 642. It looks like we're in for a sunny Wednesday with a high near 56, but temperatures will drop to around 50 in the afternoon, accompanied by a gentle north wind. Tonight, expect mostly cloudy skies and a chance of rain after 4 a.m. with a low around 42. For all you beach runners out there, the first low tide Wednesday will be at 8, with a high tide at 2.15. The nearshore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 52 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, expect cloudy and rainy conditions on Thursday, with a high near 52. Rain continues Thursday night, dropping to around 39. Friday brings partly sunny skies with a high near 50. Rain is likely Friday night with a low around 38. Saturday will also be partly sunny with a high near 49 and a slight chance of rain before 10 p.m. Sunday looks mostly sunny and warmer with a high near 51. Nights will be mostly clear with low. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. In local news, airplane food might soon get a little more exciting. Delta Airlines has announced a partnership with Shake Shack, allowing some passengers to order the chain's famous cheeseburgers on select flights starting December 1st. First class passengers on long distance routes will be able to pre-order these cheeseburgers alongside a Caesar salad, chips, and a dark chocolate brownie. Delta customers can place orders through the Fly Delta app or via email up to 24 hours before departure. Currently, this meal option will be available on Boston outbound routes longer than 900 miles, with plans to expand nationwide in 2025. Now on to sports. The New York Jets made headlines this week, firing general manager Joe Douglas just six weeks after dismissing head coach Robert Sala. According to multiple sources, Jets owner Woody Johnson suggested benching quarterback Aaron Rodgers earlier in the season following a disappointing loss to the Denver Broncos. During a tense meeting at the team facility, Johnson proposed replacing Rodgers with Tyrod Taylor believing Rodgers' performance hindered the team. Coaches in Douglas quickly pushed back, warning that such a move could disrupt the locker room and embarrass Rodgers. This incident foreshadowed Johnson's subsequent decision to fire Sala without consulting anyone. In local sports. Last night, the Celtics handed the Cavaliers their first loss, winning 120 to 117 at the Garden. Jason Tatum was very much himself, scoring 33 points with 12 rebounds, leading Boston to victory. Donovan Mitchell's 35 points kept it close, but Cleveland couldn't overcome. 
The Seas improved to 12 and 3, while the Cavs dropped to 15 and 1. Boston's defense played a crucial role in maintaining their winning momentum. Friday night, Celtics clash with the struggling Washington Wizards, who stand at 2 and 11 at the Capital One Arena. Tomorrow night, the Bruins at 8, 9, and 2 battle the Utah Hockey Club in Beantown. David Pasternak, leading with 17 points, guides the determined bees at the Garden. With Utah's three straight losses, Boston aims to capitalize on home ice and secure a much needed victory. In top news, Donald Trump's proposed tariffs could significantly hinder U.S. economic growth heading into 2026, according to Morgan Stanley's chief global economist, Seth Carpenter. He warned that if these tariffs are enacted all at once, they could create a big negative shock to the economy. Trump aims to impose a blanket tariff of 10 to 20 percent on all imports, along with additional tariffs of 60 to 100 percent on Chinese goods. Carpenter emphasized that tariffs elevate inflation and drag down U.S. growth, impacting various sectors, including automobiles and consumer electronics, potentially raising costs for companies and consumers alike. In business news, private equity giant Blackstone has announced a deal to acquire a majority stake in Jersey Mike Subs, the second largest sub-style sandwich company in the United States by sales. This agreement values the chain at approximately $8 billion, including debt. Blackstone has a history of investing in franchise businesses, having previously seen success with Hilton Hotels and Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Jersey Mike's, founded in 1956, has over 3,000 locations and aims to expand to 4,000 with projected sales of $6.5 billion by 2027. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just over $92,700. Ethereum is just over $3,100. And Goatseus Maximus is over $1. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk tech. Another iPhone special edition leak suggests a release date in March 2025. Doubts about Apple's plans have vanished, as Barclays analyst Tom O'Malley confirmed this timeline in a recent research note. His team visited Asia, meeting with electronics manufacturers and suppliers, solidifying their belief in a new budget iPhone featuring its own 5G modem at the end of the first quarter of 2025. Rumors propose a 6.1-inch OLED display and a 18-chip, 8 gigabytes of RAM, a 48-megapixel rear camera, and a starting price of $499, or $549. And in entertainment news, Ralph Macchio recently found himself in Australia thanks to Coldplay, who released the song, The Karate Kid, inspired by his iconic character, Daniel LaRusso. After sharing the song on social media, Frontman Chris Martin invited Macho to film a music video during their tour. As Cobra Kai concludes, Macho is also set to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, next to his late co-star, Pat Morita's. Reflecting on his career, Macho emphasizes the importance of protecting the legacy of Daniel LaRusso, with plans for a new film alongside Jackie Chan. He remains open to exploring new characters as well. 
Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the ancient Greek philosopher, Epicurus. And he said, it is not so much our friend's help that helps us as the confidence of their help. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.